सब्सक्राइब करें मेरे चैनल प्रियश गेट प्रिपरेशन ऑनलाइन को और बेल आइकन दबाएं और अपडेट रहें सो विल स्टार्ट विथ सिंक्रोनस मशीन हाउ टू प्रिपेयर सिंक्रोनस मशीन फॉर गेट 2019 so that you can score maximum mark in synchronous machine portion so in this video i have divided synchronous machine in three main topics first is percentage regulation then torque then voltage with real and reactive power load sharing droop and synchronous impedance these are the major topics that has been covered in all gate papers since 2003 So let us see one by one how question can be asked and how it has been asked in till now. So in percentage regulation, the equation is similar: E minus V divided by V into hundred percent. Over here, E is equal to V cos phi plus I A R A square plus V sine phi minus I A X S square. This was asked for two marks in gate two thousand seventeen. so this is for cylindrical rotor if you know the vector diagram of alternator you can easily find this another topic was torque so in salient pole motor the reluctance torque is given by this equation where we have to be understand the torque electrical is directly proportional to the sine of two angle to load angle so you have to remember this thing so in gate 2018 one question for one mark was asked based on this where delta was given and then torque was has to be find out now with two deltas two torque so there was one more question in gate 2014 of two mark that was load sharing and droop characteristic so based on the droop droop characteristic means there is a variation of frequency with respect to power so based on that there will be a characteristic now if new load is taken or is been given to the alternator how much frequency drop will occur what will be the new frequency that is what a concept is so you have to be very clear that this thing has been asked several times in psu is also right so you can prepare like this also if you know v curve and inverted v curve that is variation of armature current and power factor with field excitation you have to understand for alternator and synchronous motor so they are generally reverse of each other so it was asked in gate 2003 so this 2003 basically was made by it madrar so you have to be very careful while learning this you can't forget this now type of winding coil span m beta spread etc was also asked in gate 2003 so that also you can see another thing this was asked in several psus and gate also what is the synchronous impedance of a motor so synchronous impedance is nothing but voltage open circuit upon i short circuit so with two field current there will be two short circuit and based on that you can find out zs so this is very simple question you can work it on now let us move forward with a new topic that is voltage with real and reactive power so in most of the cases where i'll find that synchronous machine numericals are there you have to remember this equation p equal to eb upon xs into sin delta now three over here because we are going with one phase Right, this is one phase. So for three phase, you have to multiply with three, and this is the equation where you will need to find out E B based on this situation, and then you have to find out the power. This was asked in gate two thousand seventeen for two mark one question. Similarly, if you know silent pole alternator, then the E M F equation is given by E equal to V cos delta plus I D X T minus I Q R A. so over here ia was given then you have to find out id and iq which is given by ia sin delta and iq equal to ia cos delta so that you need to find out and then delta was also asked so e you can find out like this and delta was asked so for delta you have this equation 
you have to be you have to remember this equation this is very important equation tan delta equal to i a x q cos phi plus i a r a sin phi v t plus i a x q sin phi minus i a r a cos phi this you have to remember this is very important in most of the exams i have seen that based on this equation some values are always asked then again you finding the delta there was active and reactive power you have to find out so this was active power gv excess sin delta and then q you have to, to find out this was asked in gate 2014 for two marks right this is another question it was repeated you see this uh, equation is repeated twice gate 2011 and gate 2016 so i think this equation is very vital to remember and many of the silent pole machine equations or numerical can be solved with the help of this equation now there was another problem it is a cylindrical emf so it is nothing but same as that this one that we have already discussed so v cos 5 plus v cos 5 plus ira square plus v sin phi plus i a xs square and based on that you, you are supposed to find out delta so p was given e you can find out from here xs is given so based on that you can find out delta so this is the uh, overall analysis of the paper since 2003 i have tried to cover many of the things that is there in synchronous machine so what can be the conclusion let us try to understand the conclusion so conclusion is very simple learn emf equation of all type of alternator you need to understand the emf equation of alternator okay and then you need to find the, uh, learn this tan delta okay so this equation will give you some kind of relevant parameter that will be used in the emf equation of silent pole machine or cylindrical machine also you need to understand v curves v curves basically are simple v curve and inverted v curve v curve also right so i think this is sufficient for getting a good marks in synchronous machine